In this video, I'd like to talk about solid edge sheet metal. One of the big differences between SolidWorks and Solid Edge when it comes to sheet metal is that Solid Edge has its own file type and template for sheet metal parts. We can start a new sheet metal part from a sheet metal template. Just like in SolidWorks, Solid Edge has two main ways to get started. A tab which is drawn from a closed sketch and a contour flange which is drawn from an open sketch. Working with ordered sheet metal to create the rest of the features is similar and SolidWorks users should feel right at home using Solid Edge sheet metal. The best part of Solid Edge sheet metal, however, is synchronous sheet metal. It's so much easier, primarily because it doesn't use the button-based interface as much as the traditional method. The synchronous sheet metal interface is mostly right on the screen and interactive with the solid model. Even if you use ordered for other types of modeling, you should use synchronous for sheet metal. Anyone who's worked with SolidWorks sheet metal knows the pain in dealing with the various history-based features that just hold sheet metal info can be. It's very unintuitive to get a flat pattern versus trying to temporarily flatten out a bend or to get the cut across bends or the multiple legacy methods SolidWorks retains from previous versions. If you've been there in SOLIDWORKS, you know exactly what I mean. There's nothing about sheet metal design that indicates it should be done using history-based methods. To start a synchronous sheet metal part, open a sheet metal template and in the Pathfinder, right-click and select Transition to Synchronous. There are again two ways we can start, with a tab or with a flange. Let's start this one with a tab. Sketch a center rectangle. Lock the sketch plane, start from the origin, and create a rectangle sketch. I'll key in numbers for the size of the rectangle, and then exit the sketch. Click in the region and drag a thickness. To create flanges from here, it's very easy. In synchronous, you just click on an edge, or you can control click multiple edges and then pull an arrow to create a flange. You can key in numbers to be precise about the length of your flange, and you can even change the angle as you create it or after you create it. To do that, I'll click on the face I want to change, move the steering wheel to the bend radius, and then change the angle. I can key in specifically the angle that I want, or just drag it visually, or I can use a key point. You can see that this is changing symmetrically, and if I don't want it to change that way, then I just turn off the symmetric option in the design intent box. And then only one flange will change at a time. If I want to add a flange on this edge, it's going to come off perpendicular to the existing face. But I can change this in a couple of different ways. I could change the angle because I know what the angle was on the other face. Or I could create a face relationship of parallel between this face and that face. If I create a flange over here, I could make it the same length as the existing flange by clicking on the key point at the end of the flange. From existing geometry, I can even angle this end face to match this other angled face. I'll click on the face, move the steering wheel, rotate the angle 15 degrees, and we're good to go. Notice that this flange isn't at the same level as the rest of the sheet metal edges. There are two ways to change this. One way is to use a coplanar relationship between the bottom face of the flange and the thickness face of this flange. The angled flange moves down. If I hit Control Z, I can undo that. The other way to do this would be to just use the steering wheel where I can select this face and move it down to the key point on the existing flange. Either way, it creates the same finished geometry. To get a flat pattern, go to the Tools tab and select Flatten. You need to select a face to remain flat and an edge to specify the X direction, and then Solid Edge gives you the flat pattern for the part. There are other types of functions in synchronous sheet metal. Multi-bend flanges, We've already seen the contour flange and the tab, dimples, 
two bend corners, different types of holes. You can unbend specific bends to put in features that go across the bend, break corners, flanges across curves, create enclosures, and even multi-body sheet metal parts. Thanks for watching.